Former American President Donald Trump is once again in the limelight. He has alleged that a group of agents from the Federal Bureau of Investigation raided his Florida estate Mar-a-Lago on Monday. The raid comes in the midst of a high-profile investigation by the U.S. Justice Department, which is looking into Mr. Trump's removal of official presidential records to his Palm Beach estate. These include classified documents which may have been brought to the House. While he did not mention the reason for the raid, Trump said that the estate is, and I quote, under siege, raided and occupied. The Republican leader was at the Trump Tower in New York when the FBI executed the search warrant in Florida. He alleged that the agents even broke into his safe and said, after working and cooperating with the relevant government agencies, this unannounced raid on my home was not necessary or appropriate. The raid comes after the U.S. National Archives and Records Administration told Congress that it had found around 15 boxes of official White House documents from the same estate. The documents also included classified information that should not have been there. Hence, the FBI is verifying if something more was left behind. According to sources, the FBI examined places where documents were kept and took some boxes of items. Trump had previously agreed to return certain records to the U.S. archives and termed it an ordinary and routine process. Members of the Republican Party have backed Trump. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy said that the Department of Justice has reached an intolerable level of weaponized politicization. The FBI and the Justice Department have not commented on the matter. The raid and the investigation into document handling is one of the several legal woes faced by Trump. He is also undergoing a probe for his role in the Capitol riots on January 6th, as well as attempts to unduly influence election results.